Hey YouTube, it's Ish here with Growing in OKC and today I just want to talk a little bit about the difference, the quality difference that you can expect when you go to a grocery store and buy produce as opposed to like the quality that you can expect from growing your own food. Now before I do this, you know, I know that we all, we know because we grow our own food just exactly how pitiful and how much less nutritious the store-bought foods can be because when they've been pulled from the ground and then shipped from hundreds if not thousands of miles um, then they lose their nutrients because they're essentially slowly dying but I just bought a bunch of radishes because I've moved houses and I don't have a lot of things growing here yet and this is the sad state of affairs that you get when you buy radishes in a grocery store. Here they are. Oh yeah, look at that. This is all, all the goodness that radishes at grocery stores get. You notice the greens are completely uh, wilted and very few of them are still intact and not damaged. You may be asking yourself, Ish, why'd you buy such pitiful looking radishes? And the answer is simple and I bet you've already figured it out. These were the best radishes at the grocery store, okay? This was the best option. Is it any wonder why people don't know that the entire radish is edible, that the greens are edible, as well as the root ball? It's because when you go to the grocery store, that's your best option. So, uh, you know, just my little rant here. Uh, this should just be another reason to encourage you all to continue growing or to go ahead and start growing. I'm just not going to put up with this anymore. I've got to get away, find a way to plant some stuff in my backyard, even though I don't have any beds or anything. But I just can't handle this. Anyway, good luck growing in OKC or wherever you're at in the world.